At this point, we have all the connection to the code that we need to perform the calculations. So um, what we want to do first is remove the hello roommates, hello world and $99 sample text. So let's go back to the view controller.swift code and just add comments. We're just commenting out these lines by adding two backslashes in front of them. All right, so now the code does not interpret these lines. All right, now what we want to do is inside of the calculate, we want to get the values of each of these fields, okay? And the number of roommates, we want them to all not be text, but we want them to be um, uh, values, right? Like number values, right? So let's go to the calculate action, press enter, and let's capture these values. So let's create a new value called var number of roommates is equal to number of roommates text field dot text so this is text but we don't want text we want um, whole numbers because the number of roommates is a whole number so we do dot two int for integer integers are whole numbers now let's do the same thing for the number of nights okay var number of nights is equal to the number of nights text field dot text so we're taking the text dot two int so we are changing that into an int now the price to pay should be a decimal number right so we should use float but for the sake of learning here we're not going to get into details and we're going to assume we can only take whole numbers such as 100 200 300 250 and so on so var um, price per night is equal to number of nights I'm sorry um, I'm sorry, it's price per night. Yes, that's why. Price per night text field dot text dot two int for integers. All right. So now we have those three values. OK, they're all available. Now let's do the li little algorithm. It's very simple math to calculate how much each roommate needs to pay. OK, so let's do var price to pay is equal to. That's going to be the. Um, price per night times the number of nights they're staying right so number of nights and this is going to be divided by the number of roommates divided by number of roommates okay all right now this should be okay however in swift you want to make sure that these values are not zero okay and that these values are defined so how do you do that you just add an exclamation point at the end of these okay all right so now we have the price to pay what we want to do is display it okay so we're going to do price to pay label dot text so we're changing the text of the label is equal to and now we have the price to pay that's uh, that's an integer so we want to we want to convert it to a string so how do we do this we we write a string and we're going to format it okay and we're going to format it as person d for decimal OK, let's put a dollar sign in front of it so that uh, we'll have the dollar sign that appears. And the arguments would be what do we need, which is the price to pay. OK, so the price to pay is getting converted to um, to a string, which is text. OK, all right. So that's basically all we need. Let's click on the play button and see it in action. All right. So for the sake of simplicity, number of roommates, let's put two roommates number of nights let's put 10 nights okay and let's put the price per night to be 50 dollars okay so if you think about it there's 50 dollars for 10 nights that's 500 dollars and divided by two that would be 250 let's click on calculate and there we go 250 now you can keep playing with this let's say we went there with four roommates and see how much we should have paid calculate 125 it's working beautifully now um, we can go further and you know and add some cosmetic to it but uh, we do just fine thanks for watching